Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's English grammar mini lesson, we're taking a look at adjectives. Our role for today is to identify and use adjectives to describe nouns. So first, the most important question we could possibly ask is what is an adjective? If we don't know that, well we can't go very far at all. Pause the video and see if you can write down what you think an adjective might be. Well, what did you get? An adjective is a word that describes a noun. That means it gives us more information about the noun. For example, this ball is yellow. So yellow is an adjective. It tells us more about the ball. An adjective is also a word that compares two nouns. So for example, this man is taller than the boy. So taller is a comparing adjective. Okay, so adjectives are words that describe nouns. But why do we even need adjectives? What's the point of them? Well, without adjectives, all of our stories and our writing would be extremely, extremely colourless. What do I mean by that? Well, without the juicy details of adjectives, all of the nouns in our stories would be very plain and boring. People wouldn't have interesting features or characteristics. Buildings would be boring and plain. The world would be colourless. It may as well just be black, white and grey. Writers use adjectives to paint a colourful picture in the heads of the readers. That's what you do too when you write. Let me show you why adjectives are important. I'm going to describe a picture to you and I just want you to imagine it in your head. But I'm going to use no adjectives, just the bare minimums. Okay, you ready? Okay, so in the picture I'm looking at, there are people in a room, they are looking at something on a table, and well, I think that's enough detail for you. So have you got a perfect picture in your head? You know exactly what it looks like? Well, does it look like this? I would be pretty surprised if it did because my description was not very good. I didn't use any adjectives, so there's no way you could have known all the details of the picture. Now, do you see why they're important? All of these words are examples of adjectives. Some of them describe a noun, like red, or tall, or small, and some of them compare two nouns, like stronger, or smarter. The important thing to remember is, all of these words are adjectives because they give us more details about a noun. Okay, let's try a little quick activity here. Take a look at the six words down below. Can you spot which ones of these are adjectives, describing words for nouns, and which of them are not? Pause the video and see if you can find them. Well, how did you get on? There were three adjectives in that list. Blue, happy, and nicer. Did you get those? If you did, good job, well done, you're getting a hang of adjectives. Let's try another practice activity. Have a look at this little hiker minifigure. Look at all the little details, his face, what he's wearing, all the clues. Then can you tell me which of these six adjectives do you use to describe this minifigure? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, how did you get on? The three adjectives I would use to describe this fellow is happy, for sure, definitely yellow, and I would say that he is brave because it looks like he's going on some sort of adventure. He's definitely not bald, so we wouldn't use that adjective. We don't know if he's fast because you can't really tell from the picture, and he certainly doesn't look cold with all those layers on him. Okay, so remember, an adjective describes a noun, gives us more details about the noun. Take a look at this list of nine words. Some of them are adjectives and some of them are not. Can you pause the video and sort the words into the correct category? You can pause the video now and give it a try. 
Well, how did you get on? There were five adjectives in that list. Tall, stronger, fast, smarter, and loud. The words lunch, dance, jump, and mouth are not adjectives. They don't describe nouns. Okay, so now that we know what adjectives are, let's see if we can identify them in sentences first. So, here's three sentences down below. There is one adjective in each of the sentences. Can you pause the video and see if you can find the adjective? Remember, an adjective describes a noun. Pause the video and give it a try. Well, how did you get on? The adjective in the first sentence is faster because that's telling us more about the boy. The second sentence, the adjective is silent because that's telling us more about the school. And the last sentence, the adjective is tall because that's telling us more about the forward. Did you get all three of them? If you did, you're getting the hang of these adjectives. Okay, so we know what an adjective is. We can sort adjectives. We can find them in sentences. And now finally, let's see if we can find them in paragraphs. So take a look at this little paragraph of text about a school race. Pause the video and see if you can find all the adjectives in this paragraph. There are more than one and in some sentences, there might be none. Remember, an adjective describes a noun, gives us more detail about it. Pause the video and give it a try. Well, how did you get on with that? That was tricky. Here are all the adjectives in that paragraph. Did you get all of them? Pause the video for a second and check to see if you got them all. So there we have it. Now we know what an adjective is. We know how to identify them and we know how to use them. We're ready to try the practice activities down below to do a little bit more work on adjectives. But before you go, what is your favorite food? Describe it without naming it by answering these questions down below. You're going to need to use some adjectives to do this. I'll try to guess what food you're talking about from your description. Our world for today's mini lesson was to identify and use adjectives to describe nouns. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.